Okay, now let us see how we can plot control charts using Minitab. Uh, we know that there are uh, different types of control charts. They can be X bar and R, X bar and S, and X bar control charts, right? So all of these uh, types we can plot using uh, our Minitab. So we can simply go here and then select one of these, or we can go to statistic and go to control charts from con to continuous data and select whichever we want to plot. So if, uh, in this example, we are going to plot X bar and S chart. For this, I have selected this um, example for you in, from the book. So this is uh, in the uh, uh, you have uh, solved it yourself also. But in that, it, it uh, you are asked to plot X bar and R control charts. Okay, and I have modified it to for S charts because you can plot S charts also. X bar and S charts. This one is actually X bar. Okay, so the data is given here so it has 25 samples so um, yeah 25 samples each of size 5 so these are the 25 samples and these are the observations in each of them and then at the uh, in the last column standard deviation is calculated but we do not need all this data uh, we have to exclude sample number and standard deviation we will select only the measurements or the observations for each sample you copy this and paste in minitab i have already pasted it here you can see these are five columns means five observations and 25 rows means 25 samples so each sample is in one row so there is no standard deviation or sample number column that was in the original data now what we have to do is simply we simply go to We simply go to control charts here Pre press on x bar and s control chart okay so here you have to uh, tell it what type of data arrangement you have either you have data all data in one column for all subgroups or you have data in multiple columns one row for each subgroup so this is second one is our arrangement now we select all of these columns press this arrow it will take all the columns as input now we go to options then estimate mean and standard deviation from the data data or we specify the value of mean and standard deviation from ourselves okay so we want it to calculate from the data so we check this option this one is optional so from here we have to select one of these options that uh, use in calculation we want it to use actual group size or we want to uh, specify a specific size for each subgroups okay so in our case we have the same size for all the samples uh, which is equal to 5 means the sample size is 5 so either one will not matter we select this one or this one uh, it will not affect our results and what we want to display or what we want on the output is uh, we can select from here either we want to perform one test okay or we perform all different types of tests or we want to perform no test on the data just want to uh, wanted to plot x bar and s chart uh, and and you know that we can have one additional limit uh, or line on the control charts which, which we call it uwl and lwl or uh, the upper warning limit or lower warning limit in addition to our control limits so we can select this one either at send uh, one standard deviation or two standard deviation so it is up to us if you want an additional or two additional uh, uh, lines on the control chart we can select either both of them or uh, only this one so this one is considered as the upper or lower warning limits at two standard deviations from the center line right okay so currently we do not want it because it is not asked in the uh, in the question if it is we can we have this option to use right so we go back here we select everything is okay we press okay and it will plot this for us right so you can see this is the x bar control chart the center line is at the average and you can see this one is x bar bar there are two bars on x okay which shows that this is the average or this is the mean of the sample average okay sample average is x bar and another bar on the top means that this is the average of that average right so <coughs> 
these are the upper control and lower control limits and the second chart is the s chart it shows s or the sample standard deviation so the center line is at the mean of the standard deviation or mean of the sample standard deviation right and it has calculated the mean and the standard deviation from the uh, in data that we gave it to that we gave to Minitab uh, this in these columns so this will be the same exactly the same value that you will calculate using the formulas given to you in the notes okay and it has also performed these tests because we asked it to perform the test right this test or if you do not want any test we can op check the option that of no test or if you want all tests we can select that option also right so <coughs> this is uh, <coughs> x bar and s chart right okay so there is a uh, uh, another type of s charts uh, very specific ones which are different from this uh, for that is if we have variable sample size currently we have the same sample size for all right so by variable sample size we mean that uh, for some samples we have uh, taken five measurements for some we have taken four measurements for some we have three and for some we have two right so we will modify this data i will delete some of the uh, measurements from here just to show uh, that we have different sample size okay so some will have five some will have three and some will have two uh, sample size okay just let me do it quickly and randomly okay now all of these samples have different sample sizes right so some are five some are three and some have two now what we are going to do we just copy this data again right click copy and i will paste it here okay now you can see that some values are missing now uh, when we want to plot x bar and s chart we have to do the same things here in options this thing will matter now it will use actual subgroup right and from here we can select no perform no test or if you want any currently we do not want any test to perform okay now what is the difference that you see you see that there is a difference in the control in the center line okay of this uh, sample standard deviation okay and on the control chart so also this is not a digital something this is the level for each point because the sample size was different so either you can use this connecting line in between or, or you may not you you do not want to use you can you you don't use it okay so just this one and this one and this one and this one okay so now you see that the Mm, the control lines are not actually uh, the same for all the samples it is different so this uh, when you do the calculation for different sample sizes then this thing happens okay and if you have all the sample sizes of equal uh, number of observations then you get a straight uh, upper and lower control lines if you have different then it will be different okay now and you can see that there is no test performed because we had it unchecked so this is the difference when you have uh, equal sample size and we, when you have when you don't have equal sample size okay now i will show you if we check that option and let me do it quickly repeat the process okay this one i keep it equal to five let's see how it goes okay now you can see it is not different right so all the lines are straight because we kept it fixed if you do not if you use the actual sample size which means that some samples are smaller some samples are larger then we will have uh, our control line upper and lower control lines at different levels okay 
and even you can see the control at the center line of the s chart is also at different levels it looks like a distortion but it is not it is calculated based on the actual sample size right so that's all for it